Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to be learning about a critical concept in calculus, critical points. The critical points of a function are points where the derivative is zero or does not exist. Critical points are important because they relate to maximum and minimum values of functions. This is especially important in calculus application problems. We'll look at those in another video, but for now in this video, we're going to talk about how to find critical points. Let's do an example. Find the critical points of f of x equals negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. The first thing we're going to do is take the derivative f prime of x equals negative 2x plus 2. Now remember, a critical point is where the derivative is 0 or does not exist. So let's set the derivative equal to 0 and solve for x. After doing some algebra, we get x equals 1. That means x equals 1 is an x value of a critical point on this function. Now let's determine if there are any points where the derivative does not exist. Since f prime of x is a linear function, and linear functions are continuous, that means f prime of x exists for all values of x. So, we only have one critical point for this function, and that point is 1 f of 1, which is 1 4. As you can see, at the point 1 4, the derivative of this function is 0. There's a horizontal tangent at 1 4. Let's do another example. Find the critical points of f of x equals x to the 2 thirds power. So we need to determine where the derivative is 0 or does not exist. Let's take the derivative. f prime of x equals 2 thirds x to the negative 1 third power, which is the same as 2 over 3 x to the 1 third power. So then we can set this equal to 0. But when we try to solve for x, something weird happens. We get 2 equals 0, and that doesn't make any sense. That means this function doesn't have any points where the derivative equals 0. But there is an x value where the derivative does not exist. We cannot plug in x equals 0 to the derivative because we would then be dividing by 0. That means x equals 0 is an x value of a critical point. Then we can plug x equals 0 back into the original function, and we get 0. And that means f of x has a critical point at 0, 0. As you can see from the graph, f of x has a cusp at 0, 0. And the derivative of a function does not exist at a cusp. Let's do one more example. Find the x values of the critical points of f of x equals the quantity of 2x squared minus 7x divided by x minus 8. Well, in order to find the critical points, we need to determine where the derivative is zero or does not exist. So let's first take the derivative. In order to take the derivative here, we need to use the quotient rule. If you don't remember the quotient rule, I suggest you review my quotient rule video. Then we'll do some algebra and some factoring, and we get a cleaned up version of f prime of x, which is two times the quantity of x minus 14 times the quantity of x minus two divided by the quantity of x minus eight squared. Now we can determine the x values where the derivative is zero or does not exist. So if we look at the denominator, we can see that plugging in x equals eight would give us zero in the denominator, and that would mean we would be dividing by zero. Therefore, the derivative does not exist at x equals eight. Now let's determine where the derivative equals zero. Remember, a fraction is zero if the numerator is zero, and two values of x would make the numerator zero, x equals 14 or x equals two. Now we found all of the x values of the critical points, x equals two, x equals eight, and x equals 14. Let's take a look at a graph to see how this all works visually. Here's a graph of this rational function, f of x. As you can see, there are horizontal tangents at x equals 2 and x equals 14. These are the places on the function where the derivative equals 0. There's a vertical asymptote at x equals 8. This is a place where the derivative does not exist because there's a discontinuity in the function. So we did it. We found the x values of the critical points of f of x. So let's end this video with a quick recap. In order to find the critical points of a function, you need to determine where the derivative equals zero or does not exist. And that's how you rock calculus.